I would really appreciate uh, the innovations from Aurolab. I have been their fan, their user for the past many years, and the technology they come up is really excellent. Not to talk of right from the FICO machine, which I have recently used for the live surgery. They give, it gives a excellent chamber stability, and at the same time, Dr. Lalit was implanting the toric lens. They recently came up with their new design. And the advantage which was being talked about on by the panelists is that the basic rotation of this lens is very minimal. I have yet to encounter even a rotation of more than about a five to seven degree in most of the lenses, having implanted more than about a 150 of them till now. And uh, amongst the Indian lenses, I really love the technology which Aurolab is offering us. The lens stability with these toric lenses with their newer design is truly excellent. In my surgery, this is my patient with about a grade two to three cataract, uh, dense posterior subcapsular with an interior subcapsular component. And their next innovation, which I love the most, is the Vivid lens, the true EDOF lens with the present generation. I have been a part of their trial of these lenses also. And I would uh, not hesitate in saying that the results are truly excellent very much comparable and uh, actually i have compared and seen with their counter imported uh, segment as well the lens offers a minimal glare to the patient and with a bilateral implant most of these patients go even up to about a n6 vision the lens actually comes with a central bump and about four rings in the, on the diffractive platform. Thoda sa aapko pain hoga, thoda sa bardash kariye, halka sa. Abhi ye sun kar rahe hai. It comes with four rings coming up to the diameter of about 2.96 millimeter. And beyond 2.96 millimeter, the lens behaves like a true monofocal lens. So when we see the patient goes in a low lighting condition, the lens actually behaves like a true monofocal lens with minimum glare, which I would always want in any of the multifocal lenses. So this is the choice, or I would say that this is the new generation multifocal lens, which is easily can be offered to drivers, males who need a night vision, which is absolutely glare free. So for a multifocal, mostly when I am implanting a premium lens, I generally prefer a catalyst platform, a femto one. But whenever I need to do a manual rexis, I mostly target a rexis, which is not bigger than a 5.5 and should be as circular as can be attained. So that's why I preferred staining the capsule in this patient, though the glow was quite comfortable, but just to target a absolute round and a perfect rexis, I prefer and getting the capsule absolutely clear in my zone. I hope I am well centered. Yes, sir. Now it's well centered. So the hummingbird machine from Aurolab has a German titanium handpiece, which gives a perfect stability and a very good hold. The best thing which I saw was a perfect hold without can I get FICO 2? Yes. You can see the stability and the hold. The hold is quite good. Even it was quite apparent in the previous surgery also. Yeah. The hold, hold, hold is really very good. The ease with this machine, I would say, though it's an entry level machine, I would, uh, as the company says, but the entry level machine is on also as good or maybe even better than 
the many of the higher end machines i think oralabs all products including our corneal products are entry level only but they give excellent result exactly dr profol so you can see a perfect chamber stability any any specific uh, modification that they have made for this chamber stability because all this high end machine they have active fluid is all this fancy term uh, uh, i think uh, technology wise yes somebody was just uh, telling uh, yeah you can please add on the engineer is around there is a 6 inch roller pump there is a 6 inch roller pump which is a swiss made one which gives this kind of a beautiful stability you can see how beautifully it just held the epi nucleus plate also without any kind of uh, posterior capsular surge or movement everything came so beautifully i hardly need to do any cortical wash in this patient still i would do a bit of a polishing just to have a very clean posterior capsule my preferred way of irrigation is uh, the bimanual one beta mujhe aaiye 2 de dijiye so this is the ia2 or the polishing mode hardly any cortex in my surgery i generally prefer a cortical clean up hydro dissection which actually tends to just pick up most of the cortex along with the epinuclear plate so now this is the glimpse of the vivid lens you can see it comes in the preloaded platform uh there are four rings which can be appreciated can you see yes, the sir, rings yes, sir. we can see the rings it is only in the central zone of about 2.96 dia and as the periphery of the lens goes it gives a entire moon uh, platform of a monofocal lens so without any sort of hesitation i recommend this even for the patients who says that they have to drive at night and they are staunch drivers i have no hesitation in recommending these lenses truly as the lens gives a absolute glare free vision can i have the visco what what are the visco elastic sir that was used i am using hpmc for again from orolab so is it the recommendation of the company to use that or uh, any viscoelastic can be used no any viscoelastic can be used but uh, i mostly use the products from orolab so this is the common viscoelastic i use in my common practice as well the purity of the product is very nice it hardly has any kind of uh, like fibers or any undesired particles into it you can see the rings shining beautifully in the center and if you can appreciate the central zone is a bit larger it is about a 1.96 diameter so this zone also adds on to less of glare to the patient post operatively in the today's life surgery session the best thing i loved and i wanted to discuss and highlight is that our true indian companies are coming up with the products which almost as good as the international standards and their innovations have reached the international mark that even internationally the same products are being talked about so which is the future and i believe this is the platform we need to still appreciate and support and really help it develop better and better 
i have even tried using vivid in combination with oro define in another eye we wherever the patient after vivid actually wants a little better vision for near so the combination that way also works very well as with the oro define implanted in one eye the patient's near vision is still better and they can comfortably go up to about a n6 so what about intermediate vision intermediate vision up to about a 56 to 60 cm is truly excellent in these patients and the usage with mobile phone and uh, even uh, i would say dr praful with the bilateral implant the patient is comfortable even reading up, uh, the newspaper in the bright light of course but mostly what i have ever preferred to give these patients is a plus one refraction uh, which i give generally for the near and uh, that is all they are absolutely comfortable even for the finest print after that since the engineer is around any specific reason for this name hummingbird uh, uh i didn't get the question can you just repeat it any specific reason for naming this machine hummingbird it hums beautifully when we are uh, actually doing the feco the sound it makes is like a hummingbird so that's why i believe orolab has named it as hummingbird thank <laughs> you sir any any different <laughs> okay So any question for the audience? Profil, can you hear us? I am Dr. Neeraj. The main thing I want to highlight is that whenever we are implanting a mono uh, multifocal, okay. or if we are going in for a uh, any of the EDOF lenses, the especially the vivid kinds also, I would always try to aim for a zero astigmatism postoperatively. even if i have up to about a 0.5 or 0.75 i would always target my incision on the uh, incision on the steeper axis or take help from the catalyst platform because my mantra for a successful surgery and a happy patient is a perfect emetropia after these uh, implantations thank you sir for the wonderful